A man who has an enormous responsibility tonight at the World Communication Awards is Tony Lavender, the chair of the judging panel. Tony, I think this year you've had a wider spread of entries than ever before. Yes, that's right. Um, you know, the industry is evolving and um, whereas in the past one would have expected to see most of the entries come from what we'd think of as traditional telcos, now we're seeing entries come from many more places, so not just telcos, but people who are innovating much smaller businesses from the software sector, from vendors and so on. So yeah, you know, the, the scope of organisations who are in, uh, putting entries into the awards is much greater than it's been before. And is that why there's a wider um, number of categories this year? Yes it is and one of the things we're always looking at is whether the categories are right. Look at the trends in the industry, you know, at the technology level you're seeing things like SDN, virtualization, you're seeing a lot more stuff going into software, you're seeing a lot more happening with applications, you're seeing things getting closer to users, so we constantly have to evolve the um, categories that we have. Now the World Communications Award has a, has a tremendous reputation, partly down to you and your team and their independent view of things. Um, but tell us about, about sort of in the future, do you think it'll change again next year? Yes, I think it will. It will. You know, the industry is evolving and the industry will carry on evolving. I think we're still at a relatively early stage in terms of what um, ubiquitous access to mobile broadband, for example, will enable, seeing a lot more going on with apps, different models of video consumption. All of these change the value chain which is supplying um, users of these services. We have to make sure we keep up with that value chain and the players who are on it and make sure they're recognised. Now, I'm Judging I'm thinking of entering, without giving too many secrets away, uh, what are you looking for? Seriously, what are you looking for in an entry? Because these things take a lot of time, you have to read them very carefully. What are some of the key ingredients? We're looking for entries which are clear. I think above all that's the um, uh, defining criteria. It's got to be clear and easily understandable. It's got to set out um, exactly what it is that's being entered and you know sometimes we do come across entries where that's not absolutely clear. It's also got to evidence why it's a good entry so what are the metrics that sit behind that or you know why is this entry differentiated and better than something else which is going on in the industry. It's got to convince the judges that there is a clear case for it winning and that can really only come from the evidence which is in the entry. So a clear and well evidenced entry is what we're really after. When you're ploughing through these entries, um, I guess it must give you quite a lot of excitement and encouragement that the industry, you know, what the industry is capable of. I think that's right, and looking at where some of the entries come from, so you know, some of the entries from developing markets are really inspiring, particularly in terms of what they're trying to do um, for, for social purposes, for, for example. You look at other entries which are about the degree of innovation which is going on, um, whether it's technology innovation or service innovation, and again it's exciting, not always things that you'd think would be happening and the speed with which it's going on now is exciting as well. It is just getting faster all the time. Well, thanks for all that you and your team do, and I'm look we're looking forward to the awards uh, later on today. Thank you very much.